We have uh, 50 plus searchers out looking today. We have um, three dog teams out looking, so searching. Um, we have heavy equipment that's brought in that's uh, moving the piles of debris so we can search that. Um, we have been on the creek in boats. This afternoon we were, we were going to do a, um, have a swift water team in from a rough terrain rescue from Elliott County. Um, they're going to be walking and searching the creek from the site all the way down to the river. Um, we have dog team as far away as from Tennessee. Um, so we're, we're just going to keep on with the search and, and until we can come to a conclusion. So at this point it is still a rescue operation? Believe. As of right now, it's still a rescue operation. More than 24 hours um, since you were missing, what would you say is your biggest challenge right now? Uh, the biggest challenge is just trying to get the teams out, um, trying to work through the debris. Uh, we have miles and acres of debris we have to work through. So it's, it's just going to take a lot of time. How's the heat play into all of this? The yeah, the, the heat really slows every process down. Uh, the teams have to come back in, you know, often and get rehydrated. Um, we had two people get sick on us yesterday from the heat. So uh, we're keeping a real close eye on the people. We have EMS on standby for that too. Have you talked to any of the family members of this man? Have they said anything about what's going on with this far as him? Yeah. What was the last thing they well, doing we stay it? in contact with the family, but I'd rather not comment on what we're discussing with the family at this time. Can you tell us about the circumstances, how this all happened, what happened that came up quickly? I mean, it was it was your major flash flood. Um, we had six or five and a half inches of rain. Um, it built up in, in the creeks and all the contributaries to the creeks. Um, it built up behind all the wood and debris that was in the creek beds already, and then it just let loose and created a major flash flood. Are you going to maintain a similar timeline as you did yesterday, closing with the uh, sun going down? And when do you stop? Uh, when it's dark. It's too hazardous to uh, search in the area when it's dark. How many miles? Uh, roughly about five eight uh, about five miles have you found any evidence that may you think may be helpful uh, items of clothing anything like that we have the teams coming back in around noon time that we're going to do a brief a debriefing and we'll learn at that point if anything was found or any other clues talk about the debris you guys are encountering uh, one of the fields, it's about 10 acres, and it's anywhere from knee depth debris up to your chest area, um, and that's a 10 acre area. So it's it's just going to take a long time to get through it all. And it from the there's a lot of tin that's come off the buildings. That's all along the creeks. Um, the slope is very slippery with mud. And uh, we're dealing with mud up to our knees, and it's it's just a slow process. What about the streets themselves? I know when you get back to a certain point, you saw gravel coming in and stuff. How were the conditions of the actual road? I'm sorry, I didn't. The conditions of the actual road. The road? Or, um, well, part of the roadway was washed out, and we have road department back there as of today. They're, they're trying to put all the roads back together. Um, it's just. Does that make it more difficult? Um, it all, everything slows everything down, but it's it's not really slowing the search effort down. Um, it's it's working around it. With this being such a tight knit community, I would imagine that a handful of the people, at least, who are out there searching, probably know this man. Yes. How much more difficult does it make it when you have that personal element to it? Yeah, the personal element that's that's hard in the community. Um, like, as I said yesterday, it, it affects us searchers as much as it does the family members. Um, and when, when you're this tight-knit community, it just it just affects the whole community. Are you guys searching on the water? The, um, after, after we have our um, lunch 
around noontime, then uh, we're going to reorganize. And I have a swift water team here that it's going to be getting on the water. But you haven't been on the water yet. And no, it was too it was too uh, too high a water level to get in there. When's the last time you all had something of a scale? Was it 97? Or... In this area, it was 97. Yes. Now, did you know it's Mr. Higginson? Is that how you say his name? Um, did you know him? I didn't know him that well personally. Um, I've talked to him, met him, um, but everybody else in the county here, they everybody was real, clo was real close with him. What can you tell us about him? Uh, kind of guy was he? Um, I'd rather have Niter explain that to you. Where in Tennessee is the, the no dog from? Do you know? Um, Nashville. From Nashville? Mm -hmm. How far are you, you planning to extend the water search? We're going to we're going to go from where his residence was all the way um, to the to the river. Will you search in the river at all? At this point, no. So I hand it over to REM Director Nider, and he can explain the family. Thank you. Appreciate it. So if we could have you do the same and just say and spell your first name. Okay, Fred Reynolds. I'm Bratton County Emergency Management Director. And at this time, we have no updates to say that we're making any headway, but we're, we got more resources today than we had yesterday, and they're coming in more all the time. And uh, more or less, it's a uh, community, and a lot of the people we have out here are friends. And, and that's going through Facebook, whatever you have, it's, it's getting more popular, and more people are coming in as we're pursuing this effort. Uh, Try to find out what we got. You got a lot of volunteers. Oh yes. Are you oh yeah. For more volunteers? Yes. There'll be some more in this afternoon. And you're, you're, you're still welcoming any more than maybe. Oh, in, right? anything we can get. And like you say, we're we're pleased with our results right now. We're getting more resources as the day goes on. And uh, been with the family and uh, doing what we can. How's the family holding up? Doing well. Doing well. As you emotional. Oh yeah. How hard is this for you, someone who who knows this man and who knows this family? It's hard on everybody. <laughs> but uh, it's just uh, somebody we know. I'm I'm an emotional person, you know. I'm sorry, but uh, he was a good very good friend. And uh, like I say, we all sit down and talk and what's good, what's bad, and help the family get through it. When's the last time you saw him? Oh, I haven't seen him for two or three years, but but uh, he was up in age, and uh, he's kind of by himself in this trailer. We, he had a house in front, and then he moved to the back of the house in this trailer. And like I say, 97, we had bad weather there. And But ever since then, this is probably the worst we've had for five, six inches of rain in a short period of time. Do you have any idea how long he's been here? How long All of his life, yeah. I spoke with a woman this morning who says she's known him for decades and said this is actually not the first time this has happened to him and yet a double wide that he swept away in a flood several years ago. Is that I'm not, you? No, I'm not familiar with that. No. Tell us a little bit about him. What, what kind of guy was he? Uh, he was just a general spoke person. He, he got along good with everybody and was friendly, liked to talk. And I think at, um, in his younger days he was a body man. He worked on cars and stuff and repaired and stuff, but kind of kind of to himself. Big family. Had a big family. Is the family here? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're up at the house. And, but like I say, they're doing good, and they're cleaning up, and we're trying to find, in our searches, we're trying to find resources that'll, you know, help along with trying to find something. You know, we, they, we might bring an article or two in and say, could this be his? Yeah, that's his, you know. And, but we're finding it. A mile away. But you are finding items. Oh yes. Uh huh. Not not a whole lot. We're finding items. Yeah. And everything that relate to him. So. Uh, but outside of that, as far as giving you all a a positive outlook, right now it's not. But it's it's still a search. It's not a recovery. It's we're still helping to the research and and uh, maybe things will come out good and maybe not. It's a long time, but you never know how it may turn out. 
that probably won't happen until we find him, because there's always hope, you know. And you're committed to being out here. Find yes, him. but uh, you know the water the water is very powerful, and it's done a lot of damage. And it's some things you look at said that's not possible that that could have done that, but it did. So, and that's about all I got for you all. So, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh -huh.